there was uh, options where I lived, which is downtown LA. You either, you know, would sell drugs, join a gang, or express yourself through your art. I also uh, made another production company, and it's called Socalo. The Socalo in Mexico is a big uh, square where everybody meets. Socalo with a C at the end because we're in LA and everybody around LA is a loke. What's up, loke? We do a lot of exhibits. We carry the art from the streets onto the galleries. The after school programs are for the uh, youth at risk. But it was all more for the positive, you know, to get away from the violence and all that stuff. I come back from the, the 80s when all this started. I had a, a crew, the name of it was LA Bomb Squad. We would go and bomb LA with little graffiti pieces. To kill a wall is, is to paint over it, to make it spectacular with graffiti, with color, with uh, letters. That's killing it. It's like, oh man, you kill that wall. But there's a, a new talent coming in every year. Now, out of all these little taggers, out of 100, you probably would have maybe five or 10 come up and, and do more like art instead of just a little tag and vandalism. Uh, a friend of mine, Rick, which is part of LA Bomb Squad, he calls it graffiti. So when people will say, oh, you're a tagger. No, I'm not a tagger, you know, I do graffiti art. The production is different from bombing, from tagging. The production is more like a gathering of a lot of artists with a theme in there. We decided on the uh, Predator and Alien because, you know, it's cool. We painted, we didn't have scaffolds. We just had a ladder, put it up there. And Smiley from Barnacle Brothers gave us all the, the permission and gave us some paint. If you look at the, uh, the detail, it's all spray paint. There's no airbrush. It's all just uh, make, makeshift tips for the cans. If you did that on the wall, people would just like, oh my God, what is that? That's different. That's different from gang writing.